Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for a decade and uh, today I'd like to share Psalm 22 verses 25 to 31. Here's God's word. From you comes my praise in the great congregation, my vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Psalm 22, 25 to 31. And here's a poem I wrote inspired by this psalm. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to God. Only from the Lord himself comes my desire to glorify him. Without his grace and steadfast love, I will continually sin. He provides and anoints all those whom he loves. May all the chosen ones praise him and never lose faith. All the ends of the earth will never forget what he did for us. He gave his only begotten son to be the one to be sacrificed. With God's great love and sacrifice on the cross, we are saved and assured of a life and generation yet to come. May all the ends of the earth remember to turn to our Lord God. May all serve the Lord with all their strength, heart, mind, and soul. Reflection. How can you as a Christian hasten God's kingdom to come? Well, there's a verse in the Bible that says that we need to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. And what that means is that when we bring the truth in people's lives, when we uh, let the people hear the gospel and the message of our Lord, we are actually hastening the coming of the kingdom. Because um, it says in the Bible that um, until everyone has heard of the, of the gospel, of the good news, um, he will give everyone a chance to repent and turn to him. But in our sinfulness, we don't, find that emergency, that, that um, desire to uh, come closer to God each and every day. And by living on His Word, by um, understanding um, His laws and following it, and by uh, living a life that's godly, is one way, again, of hastening His kingdom to come bringing uh, the good news and walking in love. Um, if, if people see that you walk in love, they would know that you are actually um, bringing the glory of God into, in, in, into our earth, which does not naturally follow God. But the only way we will be able to give him glory is that if he grants us and he has chosen us to be his people, his, his, his child, his, his um, anointed one. So it's important for us to um, do our purpose here on earth because a lot of times people don't realize that their purpose here is not to satisfy themselves, not to gather riches, not to um, be ambitious, not to have power, but to bring the kingdom of God in humility and um, love. 
as he gives this to us in love, generosity, grace, and mercy. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.